What's up? What's up, you boys? It's your girl. And you guys already know what time it is. So it's time for a wig review. And this company I've worked with quite a few times, which is Miss Lynn. They got some affordable priced units. This one here is a 360 baby. And it's virgin Brazilian hair in 22 inches. So you guys, I'm going to cut the back off and I'm going to let you see how your wig comes by Miss Lynn. Pretty sure y'all already noticed that I done went ahead and curled this wig. Girl, I done bleached the unit. I done pre-plucked the unit. I done hot combed the unit. I done curled the unit. I done put pin curl things in the unit. Yes, I have curled the unit. And I tried to do something different with the curls this time because I was looking through my old videos and I noticed that I had the hair curled a certain way. Well, I don't know what I did that particular videos because I have quite a few of them like that well I tried to do that same exact thing on this particular unit but we'll see how it comes out at the end so as you guys know it's a 360 lace frontal which means you can put it up in a ponytail on the sides what have you it's almost like a full lace wig except for there are tracks in kind of like the back but in the nape area it's just lace listen let me tell y'all something you can put any wig up in a bun or whatever you just gotta have the skills and the know-how girl and so with that being said you don't really need too many skills with putting any wig up in a bun or ponytail you just gotta have the know-how and with the know-how i mean with some practice and perseverance girl you got this but anyway you know how it goes i just adhered the wig with some hairspray you know use what you got use what you like you ain't even 
even got to use anything, all right? But I'm going to use bed head, and I'm going to take my handy-dandy 4-in-1 blow dryer. Yes, 4-in-1, meaning, girl, you can change the head of this blow dryer to all types of, well, not all type of things, but just enough. I really like it. It's lightweight. You know, I like the fact that it has attachments. Who don't love a good attachment? But anyway, so as I was saying, 360, you can do many different styles with this. Miss Lynn, we've worked together probably like a good handful or almost two handfuls of times. I'd be lying if I said two handfuls, but enough, okay? They got some affordable wigs, you know. You can check them out. I will put their stuff down below. This one here is a 360. What do you know? It is pre-plucked. The lace is transparent, okay? And pre-plucked meaning they're going to do their due diligence or whatever you want to call it to pre-pluck it. They, listen, girl, let me just listen, okay? They're going to pre-pluck the damn wig, but you got to make it your own. So regardless if it says pre-plucked, honey, you're going to have to do a little plucking, okay? Shucking and jiving, you know, just to make sure that it looks the way you want it to look. So even though it does say pre-plucked, honey, I pre-plucked this to my preference, the way I want it to look, the way I feel like a hairline should look. So, you know, keep that in mind. If you don't know how to pre-pluck a wig, check YouTube for so many tutorials plus try it on a cheap wig before you go ham on a good wig because trust me I have ruined quite a few good wigs by pre-plucking them uh, a few years ago many years ago okay not 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 recently but yes now as for the styling options or styling method that I like to use, I like to use one of my favorites, which is the Dollar Tree Styling Mousse, okay? And I use this, and I use this with delight because i'ma say delight because i love this style and mousse it doesn't make your hair crunchy it holds girls been around for some for some ever my mother used to use this so it, and dollar tree wasn't back then when my mama used to use it so just keep that in mind it's a really good brand now as i was talking about the pre-pluction now you see how i had to pre-pluck it you see the hairline right where the forehead is at that that is you know that's a little bit me and none of them. So, like I said, you got to make it to your delight, your liking. Now, I know I don't really do too many baby hairs, but I'm making this to the way I like it, okay? And, yeah. And with that being said, you do as you prefer. You don't have to do this method, but sometimes you do. But at this part, we're going to go ahead and take this black elastic band that I made and I'm going to place that over those gorgeous baby hairs that I've created just so they stay and hold down in place while I style this wig. So here's the part where I felt like, okay, I was trying to style it like the old wig that I had, like old videos that I've seen. I don't know what I did wrong, but we just gonna overlook that, okay? Sometimes it has to do with the hair. Sometimes it has to do with the product in the hair. Sometimes it has to do with the person that's curling the damn hair. Who knows? Either way, we're gonna make it happen, okay? I think I should have actually straightened the hair before I decided to do this, but it, neither here nor there. I was trying to give myself some old glam Hollywood vibes, and it still turned out like that, girl, okay? This wig is cute. I don't care what nobody says, all right? Now, I did say 22, and I believe it is that because I went back to look and see what I requested, and I'm pretty sure it's that. If not, then hey, you know, they have up to 26 inches. So, honey, if you like it long, then they got you. And like I said, they're very affordable, so don't have your panties in a bundle when you look and you see that it says 26 inches and it says $200 because that's cheap for 26 inches, okay? But anyway... As I was saying, affordable hair, as long as you know how to take care of it. And that goes to say with any wig, if you spend hundreds of dollars on it, you still need to know how to take care of it. Because a $1,000 wig could last you a couple of months if you don't know how to take care of it, okay? But I like the way she came out. I like dark color hair for some reason. And I like blonde color hair too. Looks cute and fancy with these red nails of mine. I will say it was giving me old glam Hollywood, okay? Okay, fabulous, fabulous, even with those baby hairs, fabulous. Well, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I will post Miss Lynn's hair information down below in the info box. And on that note, I love you all. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, thumbs the video up, and I'll see y'all in the next one. 
All right. Bye.